Okay, in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about search terms, how to develop your research over time, and how to know what to type in that search box. In this video, I'm searching the database called Academic Search Premier, which is a great general resource. I'm gonna show you both the basic search and the advanced search and give you a few advanced search strategies, but know that this topic extends well beyond this short video. Now, as you are doing research, before you start typing anything, you're gonna to wanna to stop and think for just a minute, what is it that you're looking for? Because you don't know if you've found it until you know what you're looking for. In general, as you're getting started with your research, you will want to start pretty basic and then adapt your search as you go. I will start with a basic search and maybe I know that I'm looking for um, information about some aspect of sleep and so I want to find out what might be out there about that topic. Now I know that sleep is a huge topic but I like to start basic. I want to see what's out there and see what strikes my interest and what kinds of sources might be available to me as I get started. Now, as I scan some of the headlines and topics, I'm noticing the titles, I'm noticing the subjects, the type of publication, I'm noticing the number of results that I see. So here I can see I have lots of results. I'm noticing some of the filters here, and maybe I even want to play around with this and see what are we working with in the last 10 years. I can narrow using those filters. Maybe I'm looking at the subjects here. Again, there's lots of tools here to help me. But this is also a good time for me to decide whether or not this search is giving me the kind of information that I actually need to answer my question or to explore my topic. Maybe I want to start back and try a different broad topic, or maybe I'm realizing that it's time for me to get more targeted with my searching. So this might be the point at which I flip over to the advanced search. Now you'll see that the advanced search actually has three boxes here, and this is designed to help me construct a more complex search. And I'm gonna put multiple terms together in order to get more specific about the kind of information that I'm looking for. Maybe I've decided that I'm actually interested in how sleep affects college students. And so I'm gonna type college students in my second search box. And you'll notice here that I'm putting quotation marks around that because that's gonna keep both of those words together and search it as a single term. So if I search for sleep and college students, you'll see that I get a lot fewer results, but I'm starting to get more specific kinds of results about sleep and college students. Again, I'm gonna pay attention to the number of my results. I'm gonna make sure that I'm always limiting to full text because that is super important to be able to read the articles that I'm finding. This is looking much more relevant to the sort of research topic that I think I'm going to be exploring. So as I continue to explore, maybe I read a couple of articles and I decide that I'm actually gonna specify even more about what my topic is. And so I might add an additional term here. So for sleep and college students and academic performance. Good. What I'm showing here is search results or sources that have the words sleep and college students and academic performance all in the article. There are lots of other advanced searching strategies that you can try and I want to give you every single tip that I've ever learned in my whole life, but I don't think that's going to be helpful at this point. Just in general, remember not to get stuck in a searching rut. And what I mean by that is don't search the same words in the same order in the same way every single time and expect to get different results. Vary your search terms, vary the sources, vary the database that you're looking in, and just try different things to see what comes up until you find the kinds of sources that you think are going to be most beneficial to your research. Don't get stuck in one way of thinking about it because not only will it limit your sources, but it might even limit your understanding of your topic. Be persistent. We want to think that research is super fast and I just type in some words and I get exactly what I need. And sometimes that's true, but most of the time it's not. Most of the time it takes multiple iterations and lots of browsing through results and lots of adjusting my search or trying something different to find what I actually need. So don't get discouraged. Continue to try those different strategies. If you get stuck and you want some help coming up with good search terms, you can use the little widget down here to chat with a librarian. We are happy to suggest specific terms. Maybe your question is, what terms should I use to find information? Or maybe it's, I'm looking for this, but I'm not finding what I need. We are happy to suggest some strategies for your specific topic. Again, keep at it. 
keep asking, and best of luck with your research.